Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senior WWE 34, aka Kyle Cockrell and Source. I'm here today to uh, do a review on a first episode of a series known as Prehistoric Island, and it's by um, I would say one of the best figure uh, dinosaur figure review I uh, reviewers ever, pretty much on YouTube right now. Matthew the Dinosaur King, a fellow Brit dinosaur enthusiast, and I was so happy to see that he was utilizing his dinosaur figures in his own series. And I've just finished watching uh, the first episode. It's about 11 minutes long. I'll have a link down in the description to that to that episode. But um, as I don't have permission to show any of the if, like any of the uh, footage or anything like that, I will just improvise and tell you what it is basically about. So basically, it's set on a Pacific island in the Pacific, obviously. Uh, the island isn't specified where it is, but it's in the Pacific, so somewhere, you know. Uh, it's probably going to be a large island, because there's going to be there's a lot of dinosaurs on there, straight from the first episode. Um, and the first episode, we're introduced to scenes of dinosaurs, eat, uh, you know, feeding, uh, walking about. It's, it's really a tranquil kind of setting. It, you, we see a saltosaur, we see uh, some hadrosaurs, stegosaurs, and then we get introduced to... The Theo, or I think that's what he's called, Theo, uh, who's a large male Triceratops Horridus, and uh, his son, Tom, and they are both the Papo Triceratops uh, adult and baby, which uh, I I really adore those two. I've not got the baby, but the Triceratops adult is a fantastic figure. Um, but basically what happens is that um, a young Tyrannosaur, I forgot what the name of that Tyrannosaur is, damn it! <laughs> well, it's it, it's I think it's like Malik or Mal Malitic. I don't know. It's it it begins with M or T or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sorry, Matt. I am an idiot. I have got the brain of a Stegosaurus Stenops. <laughs> but uh, the Tyrannosaur is young, so it attacks Tom, and Tom is bitten on the frill. He's like, get off me! Well, they don't talk, obviously. Um, Theo comes in and just basically just. Tells the T Rex to just step down, which is quite cool. Uh, the little T Rex basically just yeah wanders off, defeated, basically hungry still, pretty much. Uh, then we come to a scene where there's some Brachiosaurus is feeding, and there's just tons of these Brachiosaurus figures. Uh, the most prominent one is the Papo Brachiosaurus, the grey version. Uh, I believe they did a brown version before it. I'm not too sure, but I do have the grey version myself, and it's a again a beautiful figure. Um, then we get introduced to Archie, who's an Archaeopteryx, and uh, we find that um, the Safari uh, Archaeopteryx is used, which I'd say is the better version out of uh, all the current Archaeopteryx figures, because it has the toe claw, and it, it, it looks kind of accurate to what we know. And obviously it start it goes and eats some a lizard or something, which is quite cool. The lizard, this lizard is big. I was surprised. I was expecting some, some a bit smaller, but it's like as big as the Archaeopteryx. I was like, Matt, it's huge. It's it's a big it's a big lizard. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What what are these Archaeopteryx eating? Iguanas or something? Green iguanas? <laughs> that would be funny. Um, and then we come to a scene where we see some sauropods hatching, some sauropodlets. Uh, the female we get introduced gets eaten by a monolophosaurus. How f how fitting of an introduction and end is that? To be introduced and then within two minutes you're killed off. Greatest character devel development ever. And what's cool is that this scene, it, it basically replicates the scene from Walk of Dinosaurs episode 2 with the Diplodocus because these are Diplodocus babies so I reckon we will follow these Diplodocus through the episodes uh, as well as like 
other main characters like the uh, Fever like the Tyrannosaurus, the Triceratops, and Archie, obviously. Then we come across Dylan and Daisy, who are two Dilophosaurus, and they're quite cool in the uh, in the uh, program. And then we finally finish the episode with uh, some sleeping dinosaurs, which is awesome. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed. Please do go and check out Matthew the Dinosaur King's uh, YouTube channel. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you later. Bye bye.